Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks. We are back, finally back. I'm sorry about the wait, but yeah, here we are. We're back working on our submarine, and uh, we've got quite a bit of technical stuff to do in this episode, so uh, stick around, stay tuned. Um, going to be a lot of kind of nerdy technical talk, but uh, I'll try to get you through it without uh, boring you too much. Um, but yeah, we're back. I, uh, I'm sorry about the schedule, guys. The schedule, you know, I kind of addressed this in my last episode, uh, which was the first City Skylines episode. If you haven't seen that, go check it out if you're interested, of course. Um, kind of addressed it. Uh, a lot of life changes going on with me, so I'm sorry, but we are starting to slowly return back to normal. So hopefully we uh, will have a little bit more of a consistent schedule here going forward. But I am in a new-ish, not well, not new place, but different recording setup. So um, let me know how the sound I guess sounds for you guys. Um, I do apologize. I know there's some construction vehicles going on outside and whatnot, but I do hope that this will be a little bit quieter for you guys. Um, it's a little bit more buried in my apartment, I guess. There's a lot more stuff in this room too, so the echoes are a little bit better. Um, but anyways, I'm going to quit yapping on about that. What we are doing right now in the background is I'm just kind of making like a fake drive shaft to connect our reactor and our kinetic energy bank into the propeller. So, um, pretty simple, just trying to make this look nice later on in the episode, we are going to get into a little bit more, um, air handling and air management and that kind of stuff. I'm going to talk about that, but for now, I'm just trying to get this hooked up. I want to drive the sub around for you guys in this episode. So that is kind of the main priority right now. And uh, now that I've explained that, we can go back to yapping. So uh, yeah, a lot of life changes going on. And uh, again, sorry about the schedule and whatnot, but basically um, a lot of that hopefully should be kind of sorted out by now. So um, unfortunately, just kind of got out of a relationship and uh, not going to get into the details and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of what was going on in my life. And, uh, you know, everything else been going well. And, uh, you know, you guys absolutely crushed it on the freaking uh, the, the aircraft carrier, the flying aircraft carrier video and the, uh, the, the workshop creation. So thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate all the support for that. I, uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of sorry the uploads have been a little bit more stunted, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm excited to get back into it. I've got a couple fun projects coming up, but you know, we are going to slow down on the Stormworks a little bit. I am going to finish that City Skylines playthrough and uh, you know, the the building, it's, <laughs> I, I didn't get to build much in the, the last, you know, month or so. So we, uh, we're, we're got a little catch up to do. Um, but as you guys can see, if you were paying attention, I know the last video was quite a while ago. Um, quite a lot has changed in this sub since then. So, um, yeah, that was all kind of done off camera and some of it was done on camera, but a lot of it ended up kind of being me just doing testing and some of it ended up being a failure. So I didn't want to show you guys that part. Um, really, I was just testing some, some ballast options and that kind of stuff, but we will talk about that in a little bit. Once we get into the air management, I am going to throw you guys right into the time lapse for a little bit. I know I'm sorry, but uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll talk a little bit more about what we've done.
great. Well, that was kind of a lot, and I am sorry. But there is kind of a lot going on here. So I'm not going to try to get too crazy in depth here. Um, I mean, I guess I will a little bit. I'm, I try to try to educate, educate you guys a little bit on some of the stuff I'm doing because I know a lot of this plumbing is probably... Um, Probably looks like a, a rat's nest to a lot of you, but really what's going on here is that main uh, yellowish pipe is just a mixed air um, out, and that is coming from our hydrolyzer as well as air, fresh air pumps that are coming out of the conning tower. So that um, orange pipe is a pressured air line, and it does not really matter what air is in it. So um, that specific line, we do not care about the content, we just care about the pressure. The reason I'm doing this is because the hydrolyzer, we don't really need the hydrogen off of it. Um, and since it's H2O, um, you get a lot more hydrogen than oxygen. So we're gonna use the hydrogen byproduct and pump it into these tanks. Now these tanks are going to be used as an emergency ballast blowing system. Um, and then we'll have separate kind of air systems for um, climate control, fire suppression, that kind of thing. And we'll get into that. And once again, colors are hard, guys. Um, <laughs> it takes me so long to pick out colors and it's so funny. But anyways, so this is not going to be the only storage um, for this pressurized air that we have. We will have one forward for um, the forward ballast tank. Really in this submarine, there's there's pretty much just only two ballast tanks. Now, you guys saw in the time lapse, we rate or lowered the roof in the engine room down a block and that was to make the ballast tank a little bit bigger. I wanted to get some more weight in the rear because as you sink it, it wasn't sinking level. So that was to kind of mitigate that. And um, that also, you know, will create a negative space for buoyancy too. So kind of kind of helping with the ship stability. That was the main thing. Also, um, it is a level of armor too. But really, I'm just trying to make this section look good. This is right below the reactor down here. And like I said, these tanks are pretty much just going to get any, you know, spare air, um, spare, you know, basically anything that's a, a fluid, but not, you know, a liquid. Um, so any gases that we have as a byproduct will stick in here. And uh, that is going to be really, really useful, especially in a no power situation. So Essentially, what this, this system is going to allow the submarine to do is surface with no power. And that is, in my mind, a very, very big factor of safety thing. So um, it seems really convoluted and complex what I'm doing here. But in all reality, if I was on this submarine in real life, I would be very happy. And uh, in, re in reality, most submarines do need some sort of pressurizing towards the, uh, the ballast tanks to blow them. Um, so this isn't really how they do it but this is um not necessarily like a crazy thought to have so um this is just spare air needed a place to put it i didn't really see a easy way for us to make this space down here habitable and um you know it's right next to the reactor so it probably doesn't want to be habitable <laughs> um, probably don't want to spend more time next to a nuclear reactor than you need to and uh Anyways, that's that's that. So we got all that plumb done, and uh, I'll go into the specifics with the climate control and the fire suppression stuff in another episode. Like I said, that will be a completely separate airline, um, and you know if you do see those, those will be a white and blue and a green. So we'll have a green, which is a pure oxygen supply, and a white and blue, which is just a fresh air supply, and those will be the oxygen will be obviously pure O2 need a lot less of that because, well, you don't really consume too much of it and it's a low percentage of the atmosphere. The blue and white fresh air supply we're going to need a lot more of, but that's because that is mostly just a mix of atmosphere. So a lot of nitrogen, a little bit of the other stuff mixed in. So the idea with that is essentially I'll be able to pump fresh air and I'll make sure the O2 levels are always high enough in the sub, even if you're, you know, people breathe O2 and breathe out CO2 which means we also need to have a CO2 scrubber. Now I'm gonna use one of the old filters back in the day, and uh, that way we will, will be able to filter out CO2. And that is pretty cool, especially when it comes to being in an enclosed tin can and if there's a fire. Um, so if there's a fire, you get that fire out, it pumps all the, uh, the CO2 out, and that obviously will keep you from suffocating. And that is another huge factor of safety thing for me. Anyways, I've been yapping on about imaginary science for a little bit too long, and I did tell you I want to get this thing driving, so uh, we're just, I threw some control surfaces on it, and I threw a lever in it, and we're just going to see if we could drive it around a little bit, just just now. 
and in the, the theming of my videos and us being all over the place, um, where I, I also wanted to just talk about a few other things real quick. So the channel passed 3000 subscribers and I didn't really make an announcement about it, but I, you know, thank you guys so much. So much of that came from just the flying carrier. So you guys absolutely killed it on that. I really, really appreciate the support. Um, I did, I do want to kind of talk about the city skylines thing. I know some of you probably are concerned. Now the stormwork stuff isn't going away. I just want to kind of branch out a little, if that makes sense. So um, I've been at the Stormworks thing for quite a few years, and uh, it's one of the only things that I play. And uh, as I've gotten older, I have less and less free time. And this is a very time-consuming game, and I really, really enjoy it. But there's uh, other stuff that I like to do, too. So I, I figured, you know, we'll start introducing creative games here and there on the channel. It's not going to be a consistent thing. I will say the Stormworks will probably be the most consistent part of the channel still. So uh, the, the builds aren't going to go anywhere. Just uh, don't be surprised if you get a random different game sprinkled in here and there. And, uh, you know, if you're into it, check it out. Leave it a like. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, I'm not used to really doing the other kind of games. So it's a, it's a little weird to edit them for me <laughs> so far. But, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to branch out. And, um, you know, the, the, the Stormworks community has been very, very good to me. And, uh, you know, I would like to think that I have hopefully been good to them. So I do appreciate you all. I am and, uh, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Just uh, know that I might slow down a little bit. And I know that that's tough to hear sometimes, especially because I'm such a slow builder. But, you know, I am an adult. I do have other things to do. I do like this game. It's a really good outlet, but it's also a very, very time consuming game. And uh, the other thing about it, too, is I like to do my best work in this game and you can't force that. So it, it becomes really tricky to do really, really high quality work if you're trying to uh, match timetables and that kind of thing. So uh, I think the, the little break was, was, you know, in a way really good for me. I, uh, I think it was nice to kind of get away from uh, the YouTube and the schedules and, and all that. And I have a couple things that I've, I've been building on in the background on my own time that you guys won't see on YouTube. Um, when they are done, we'll probably do like a gameplay video or two of them. Um, definitely I'll, I'll do a workshop video, but I do have a couple things like that in the background I'm working on. And, uh, those are more just kind of passion projects, kind of like the, uh, the heads up display I made. So, um, just kind of keep your eyes out for that. That'll, uh, obviously be, you know, that'll come out in, if we're on Al Al schedule, probably in 2028, I'll be done. Um, that's a joke, but you know, obviously it'll be a while. So. Anyways, been yapping too long. The uh, the sub's moving along nicely here, and the only thing I'm really having a hard time with is getting it down into the water. So I'm um, just going to mess around with a few things. We might have to stop here real quick and uh, just let the ballast tanks fill and sink down naturally. I think the shape of the sub is probably producing lift on the boat itself, which is making it hard for us to go down but I mean hey we're going to decent speed already and uh, I can I can give you guys a little hint towards the future that number is very low compared to what this sub will actually do um, I've seen this sub do about 200 knots um, and that's no funny business which it is kind of funny to say that because that is absolutely funny business anything going 200 knots under the water that's like airplane speeds um, but yeah it'll go about 200 knots under the water and uh, I think that is pretty cool but anyways, guys, that is going to be pretty much the end of the episode. As you can see, we finally got it down in the water, going a lot faster under the water. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys in this episode. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. I know I just uh, you just really rambled on about random junk all day. So uh, if you made it to the end, thank you for listening to me randomly just saying junk. And uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, enough of me yapping and rambling. Uh, you guys will get hopefully more of that coming up soon. But uh, we're going to breach this thing real quick, and I will call it a day on this episode. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this series, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully the schedule will get a little bit more normal here soon, and I will catch you all in the next episode. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.